This is Two Second Lean in Tulsa, and this is a five gallon bucket drip irrigation system of my own design and creation, all except for one piece right there involving those white lids, and I will explain that and give proper credit where it's due. I will also be posting full details and links to where I got the buckets, where I got the lines, and where I got all of these black fittings right here. It'll be in the description below. This was my first design. This was my second design. And the major difference is that this one doesn't split until the end. This one splits right after it leaves the bucket, and so you have double the number of leads that you're dragging around behind you as you're moving it from one area of the yard to the next. The next improvement from this one to this one was to add a sight glass. I liked it so much that I added it to this third one and then the first one. The next improvement that I made was how much to leave all of these valves open and it's roughly half, and I'll show that to you in a second. And that's all designed to make sure that any air that gets locked in these lines bleeds itself when you add water to the inside of the bucket. All of these are open roughly the same amount, and it's roughly half open. So if this line right here is in line with this, it's totally open. If it's 90 degrees or perpendicular, it's closed. So this is halfway between open and halfway between closed. And the drip rate really all depends on how full the buckets are. You will need to grab a pair of pliers or channel locks and grab just above this rectangular oval end piece, just above that, there's a little lip. Grab that, squeeze down nice and tight. Use your second hand to pressure fit a piece that's identical to this into that 964 cents hole. Why? The, the diameter of this piece and on the other side are larger than that 964 inch hole. So when you do that, it'll seal around itself and you won't have any leaks. If you live in a very windy place or it's gonna be windy on a day that you're irrigating, take some landscaping stones, a brick or something like that, set it in the bottom. I wouldn't recommend setting a lot of rock in there because it gives you more rock to clean if when they get uh, uh, some algae growing on them. And to give proper credit where it's due, I don't have to keep track of my lid anymore because I have a Walters and Wolf lid savior. Now, they have an employee over there, uh, first name, first initial is M, last name Kemp. He, I assume it's he, uh, he drilled two holes here, two holes here, and inserted two zip ties one this side one on that side I improved it because I felt I only needed one and his zip tie connection was on the outside I didn't like the look of that so I improved it by doing the same thing he did and cutting off the excess but I hid all this and mine's on the inside so giving proper credit where credit is due. Uh, thanks to M. Kemp at Walters and & Wolf, and I will provide a ton of links and information to that video showing them creating this, uh, their YouTube channel, and their website. Uh, they're a, a good group of people. So this is my five gallon bucket drip irrigation system and I hope everybody gets a ton of information out of this and reduce a ton of waste.
And in all honesty, I was in the editing stage when I realized I didn't give close-ups of all the fittings. So I'm going to do that now and then slide that into the proper area of the video. This is an on-off valve. It's only located at the end. And let's see if I can't get a decent, clear photo. Okay, this is from the top. This is from the side. You don't have to worry about this because there's going to be a ton of information in the description below. Anywhere where you want to split in your design, you will need a T. There's your T. And the elbow, I only use that in the bottom and top of the side glass. And it's a nice clear view of both of them. Now, as far as this connector is concerned, I don't have any extras, but what you see on the outside is identical to what's on the inside.